On va continuer de quelques, quelques à la faute de, de Barachat Balak, Shamash Mia, de Zemishraï. Et on va directement à la suite des, des commentaires de, de, toujours de Zemishraï sur la Médila Tzrout. Donc on était à Balak, Shana. Euh, oui, Shana Shinya, et je vais juste partager l'écran. On peut lire ensemble. Donc, on était à la, à la fin 2. So it's, it's all about the, à la fin, about the yeah, uh, wine of non-Jew. So we were, we stopped at the, à la fin 2. So let, I'm going to, we're going to do some... Uh, à la hot, uh, and then we're going to go to the commentary of Ben Ishray about uh, Megillat Kut, les attachés. À la ha, tout, à la ha, deux. Quoi qu'il soit interdit de tirer profit du vin du non-juif idolâtre, on peut tirer profit du vin touché par un jeune enfant qui ne, co qui ne comprend rien euh, à l'idolâtrie et à sa pratique. Donc, Ben Ishray, il sait. Um, even though it is prohibited to take profit of wine that, uh, of a non-Jew, we, uh, we can take profit of wine that have been touched uh, by a young ch uh, child who, uh, which, uh, who, who doesn't understand about uh, worship or, or every, uh, the, the practice uh, uh, yeah, the uh, of the worship. But, he said, but, mais ce vin est, euh, est interdit à la consommation, même s'il s'agit d'un nouveau-né. But this one is forbidden to, to drink of. The, the, we, we, it is prohibition to, to, it is prohibited, sorry, to take, to, to drink from it. So we can take profit, so we can sell it to a non-Jew, but we cannot Uh, drink it, even though it, it has been uh, touched by a newborn. Et lorsqu'un jeune Ishmaélite ayant l'âge où l'on ne euh, euh, ayant un âge où l'on ne touche pas encore les objets avec une intention bien définie, a simplement touché le vin. Ce, ce vin n'est même pas interdit à la, euh, à la consommation vu son âge. And here he said that. If one really a young uh, Ishmaelite, that someone who came from the, the is a descendant of Ishmael, Ishmaelite, and we, he have the age where we, we he he doesn't he, he are not allowed to touch to touch uh, things objects with uh, with um, with a particular intention. He, he, he is at this age. But he, he, he simply touched the wine that uh, the Jew uh, uh, can drink. This one is not prohibited to, to be consumed because he said, uh, according to his age and, uh, and the, the Ishmaelite, which, he, which is not uh, an idolater, he touched the wine without, uh, without any intention. This is why the wine is not prohibited. Donc, comme le, on avait vu dans la dans la une que les, les descendants d'Ishmaélites, les descendants d'Ishmaélites, donc comme on a vu que les descendants d'Ishmaélites ne sont pas considérés comme idolâtres, alors et, et même à, à, son, à son âge, il n'a pas encore d'intention dans son dans son action. Et ben, le vin quand il qu l'a touché, on, il peut être bu. Sorry, just one, minute, one second. Okay. Okay, so alaha free, alaha quoi? Du vin dont on ignore s'il a été fait ou touché par un Ishmaelite est autorisé à la consommation. And he go further. The alaha free say that a wine that we don't know if the uh, no, uh, Ishmaelite. Uh, Or uh, an, Ishma an Ishmaelite touched it. Uh, 
‫הפרק וורקט. ‫שלום, שלום, רבי איזק צ'וקו. ‫שלום, שלום. ‫וולקום. ‫שלום, שלום. ‫אז אנחנו נמצאים כאן בהלכה ‫על הווין של נון-ג'ו. And here Allah Hafri says that a wine that we, we, doesn't, we ignore if it, it have been made by a Nishmaelite or have been touched by a Nishmaelite is authorized in, um, to, to be consumed. Oh. Donc, le concentré de raisin bouilli vendu par des, par des juifs reste autorisé même s'il risque d'avoir été, mélang été mélangé à un jus de ce genre fabriqué dans des, par, par les Nishmaelites. So here he said that this kind of um, ju uh, 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 juice yeah. that's made out of uh, 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 grab, uh, grab concentrated and had have been uh, boiled, this type of ju juice is authorized if, if it, this ju juice have been uh, mixed with some juice that juice that uh, an uh, Nishmaelite sell also. Et notre maître Rabbi Chaim Vital témoigne que le Harizal en man, uh, mangeait sans se soucier, comme il le rapporte dans Shah Ta'ameh ta Hamizbot Parashat Ekev. And here uh, the Minshraï quoted uh, his master Rabbi Chaim Vital who testi testified that uh, his master, the Harizal, eat from those, uh, not eat, but drink from those uh, the types of juice without any concern. And uh, he gave the, 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 the reference in the Sha'a Ta'ameh HaMizvot Parashat Ekev, if you want to check that, that, that uh, testimony of uh, his student. So now we, uh, we are in Alakha 4. Pour nous, séfarades qui suivons les enseignements du, ma, du marin Zal, la règle est d'interdire totalement de tirer profit de tout vin fabriqué par un non-juif ou touché par un non-juif. So here, the Allah Hafor, Ben Yishrei quoted that for us as séfarades uh, and uh, who, who follow the teaching of marin Zal, the, the rule is to, for, to prohibit it Uh, to, to totally prohibited and to take profit of uh, a wine that have been made by non-Jew and even a wine that have been touched by non-Jew. On ne peut ni le vendre à un non-Jew and we cannot sell them to a non-Jew. So, so not, not taking profit. Ni lui, en, ni, ni lui en faire cadeau. And we cannot, we also cannot give the wine or to this wine to a non-Jew as a, as a gift. Because here also it's it's a form of taking profit because you are taking profit by giving uh, giving uh, gift. Il faut s'en débarrasser. Il faut s'en débarrasser en le versant dans un trou profond de manière à n'en tirer aucun profit. And here you say that we need to, to throw it away inside a, a hole so that we we are we know we cannot be uh, we cannot take profit from it. Et il ne convient pas de se montrer moins strict à notre époque non plus. And here, and here the Abba Benishai said that even in our generation, we, we, it is good to be strict so, uh, as so. D'après Knesset Agdola, selon ceux qui pensent qu'il est totalement interdit de jouir de ce vin, même à notre époque, il est également interdit de recevoir du vin d'un an juif en recevant, en, en recouvrement de dettes et d'après tel, Tel est, d'après lui, pardon, telle est aussi l'opinion du, mara, ma, du Maranzal. And here he said that, uh, if, uh, according to this uh, strict position, we cannot take a wine from a, a non-Jew in order to recover a debt, a, a debt, a debt, a debt, a debt, a debt, 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 yeah. But, um, and this is also the, the The, the position, the opinion of the Maran. Torah Tresed est cependant d'avis que, que même d'après les décisionnaires qui interdisent tout profit d'un tel vin de nos jours également, il est permis d'en recevoir pour recouvrir une dette. 
but there is this uh, one alaha which allowed to to recover to recover depth by receiving um, uh, a wine that that a non Jew gives to gives to us. So he touched it, and uh, normally it's forbidden. Les preuves dont il étaient son euh, dont, euh, dont il son raisonnement ne sont toutefois pas pas évidentes et on peut facilement les refuter. But he, here Benishai said the Benishai said that the um, uh, proof the oh uh, just one minute sorry the proof the proof yeah. I want evidence. Uh, yeah, this, I wanted to, to use this one, but uh, yeah, the proof or the evidence that uh, that the the Torah Tresed uh, uh, gave in order to support the fact that we can use it as a as a recover to, uh, recoverance. I don't know if you can say it of depth. It's not enough. Uh, when, it's not easy. Yeah, are, are really easy to 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 refute <laughs> i don't know if you can say to refute yeah or to rebut or to disapprove <laughs> disprove sorry okay so quant à zechor le avraham il est uh, il cite un décisionnaire qui se fondant sur la responsable de rashba zal l'autorise lorsqu'il est impossible de recouvre, recouvre, de recouvrir sa dette d'une autre façon. And, uh, but he said that according to Zechor Le Avraham, he quoted a decision, uh, uh, one decisioner who, that be, who based his, his uh, re, uh, reasoning to the responsible of Rajba and authorized if it's really impossible for us to recover our debt in, a, in, ad, in, a, in, a, in a other way. Or, on sait que Rajba adopte l'opinion de ceux qui pensent qu'il est interdit de tirer profit du vin de nos juifs de nos jours également. Even though, and we said, we, we, he said it that the Rajba, where uh, the Zechor Le Abraham based his uh, reasoning of, the Rajba is, is one of the people who, 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 keep, who kept the, the opinion, the strict opinion of not taking profit of any, uh, of any uh, wine of uh, non-Jew. D'après le Rav mentionné, Maran partage cette opinion et on peut donc permettre de recevoir du vin non-juif en payant une dette s'il est impossible de, de se faire payer d'une autre manière. So here, according to this, the Maran, that uh, Maran Zal approved this opinion and said that if it is really impossible for us to be recovered in, in this debt, and uh, uh, in, in, in a, in a other way that just uh, receiving the wine, in that case only, and if it's impossible, it is permit. Il est toutefois absolument, il est toutefois absolument interdit de faire commerce de vin non juif, et c'est évident. But here the Benishra precise again that it is absolutely pro uh, prohibited to make, uh, uh, to make, uh, how do you say, a commerce, to make, uh, Mm -hmm. Make trade, yeah. yeah. To make trade, wine trade, we, uh, uh, a trade of with a non-Jew wine. It is, it is uh, evident that it is forbidden. Okay, so Alakha 5, and I think we're going to stop there. Just let me check if Alakha 5 is long. Yeah, it's really long. Yeah, it's long. So just maybe let's, make, let's do the first paragraph paragraph and then we stop and we start the, the other part. So, Alakha 5, Alakha 5. L'alcool de vin appelé brandy, cognac, est interdite à la consommation. Le cognac est, et qui était du vin euh, lorsqu'il a été fabriqué par des non-juifs ne peut absolument pas être autorisé sous prétexte que son goût a changé et qu'on et qu en a fait de l'alcool en, en les distillant, en les distillant à, à nouveau. Shalom, shalom, Abanita Nava. Welcome. Bienvenue. On continue la halakha, on est à la halakha 5. So here he said, halakha 5, c'est sur le, le, 
les, les 20 des non-juifs. Nous sommes dans Parashat Balak, Shana, Shnia. So he said in, in, in the, the Alaha 5, the alcohol called cognac is forbidden to, uh, if it had been made by non-Jew. Why? Because the, the cognac is it's a wine. Uh, we, uh, how, how we made we make a cognac? A cognac it's, uh, it was a wine at the beginning. And if a non-Jew uh, made it, it's automatically for, uh, uh, prohibited. And so here, and he precise that we, we cannot use the, 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 sorry, the pretext that because the wine changed uh, his, uh, the taste and it became cognac so that we can uh, allow, uh, we can drink this uh, if uh, an Andrew for, uh, made, made, made it. Puisqu'il a déjà été interdit en tant que vin. Because at the beginning, the cognac was a wine first. So the, the prohibition is applied directly to the first stage of the, uh, the process of uh, ma making uh, cognac. So the prohibition still uh, valable. So here there is a big uh, parenthesis. Let's, say, let, let's read. Voir Hida qui rapporte dans son mari Ha'ain qu'on l'a interrogé à propos d'une certaine autorité rabbinique qui permet de distiller une seconde fois l'alcool appelé Anwa, Ardienti, et fabriqué par des non-juifs, considérant que celui-ci est alors autorisé à la consommation sur la base d'une responsa rapportée dans Admat Kodesh. Frida répond que cet alcool est absolument interdit car il représente le nectar du vin et ce qu'il qu y a de meilleur euh, et ce qu'il a de meilleur, puisque plus on le distille, meilleur on le rend et qu'on ne lui enlève donc en rien son caractère interdit. So here, is, let, let me just put the, the right page. We are here. Here, the Benishai, uh, the Benishai sorry, uh, uh, quoted the the decision. How how it is? Uh, we can say that it, we we cannot accept a cognac that have been uh, created by a non-Jew. Here, he quoted Rida, who who quoted the ma the uh, in his uh, sefer Marit Ha'ain that some uh, a rabbinical authority a law. To, um, to distill it to in, the, in the second time the, the, the drink called uh, alcohol called Anwa Ardianti that have been made by a non-Jew. And because it has been distilled in second time by, non uh, by a Jew, the, this opinion said that it, we are uh, authorized to drink, uh, to drink it. But then Hida respond to that saying that the, um, this is absolutely a prohibition, a forbidden. Why? Because we, it, we're talking about the, the nectar. Nectar? <laughs> let, let, let me just check how you say it. Uh, nectar, which is the essence, the, the essence of the, the drink. And, and explain that the more we distill the, this drink, the more uh, the nectar express itself. So in, in uh, any way, we can say that the, the taste have been uh, modified. We, we, we just, um, let, 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 we just, oh, we just improve its taste. So it's, it's worse, let's say, it's not, uh, the, the taste is there, but we improve it. So in, in that case, we said the Ben Shred that the, the prohibition still uh, stands. So we cannot drink from it. So maybe now we're gonna stop here and we're gonna take the Megillat route. We are gonna comment it by Rabbi uh, Ben is, is there any question? Est-ce qu'il y a des questions jusqu'à là sur les, les, ces questions de, de vin de non juif? Et si non, on va du coup reprendre et les attachés à avancer un peu plus
sur la, le commentaire de cette Megillat route. So we, we are now in the Megillat route and we are now ben Israel, le Ben Israel commande the second, uh, the second uh, pasuk of the Megillat route. And let's just see together maybe um, the, the second pasuk in the... Uh, What is he say? Let me just maybe read first in uh, French, uh, no, in Hebrew. Uh, let's find it. So why do we charge? Just one second, I just need to check the if it works. Okay, now it works. Super, make it a quote. And we are in passive two. So he said like this in, uh, in Hebrew first. Uh, let, me, let me maybe share the screen. He said like this. Veshem aish elimeler. Veshem ishto Naomi. Veshem shene banav machlon vechilon. Ephratim mi bet lehem Yehuda. Vayavu. Donc en français, il dit Le nom de cet homme était Elimelech. Celui de sa femme, Noémie. Ses deux fils s'appellent Mahlon et Kilion. C'était des Ephratites de Bethlehem en Yehuda. Arrivés sur le territoire de Moab, ils s'y fixaient. And in English, he says like this. And the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Mahlon and Kilon, uh, yeah, Ephratit and Bet, uh, of Bethlehem in Yehuda. And they came into the field of Moab and continued there, uh, and, and continued there, continued there. Okay. And now let's just check. What the Ben Israel say about this pasuk, the second one. Here we are here. So he said, "Veshem, on est ici donc du coup. Veshem haish elimeler, veshem ishto Naomi, veshem shene banav machlon vechilon, vechilon, chilion." So, says so. Mira lefaresh, dak dak hakatuv loma, veshem sheni. Veshem Sheni. Banav. Velo Amar Veshemot Shemo Banav. So here the Benishai quote, um, it's like a, a difficulty, let's say, or a precision. He, he asks why the text say the, the, the name of the sons and not the names of the sons, uh, of the sons in plural. Uh, in English, when we read, we wrote, it was respected the the this this uh, this uh, way of uh, the singular, but not in French. So here, in fact, Ben Israel souligne une sorte de une question en disant pourquoi le texte dit et le nom de ses fils et non pas et les noms de ses fils. Donc oui, c'est c'est plutôt au singulier, on va dire. Et non au pluriel. Donc ici, il sait. Oui, je me tape. Mishum, Sheratza, Leiten, Hashivot, ou Malha, Le Marlon, Dafka. Et il dit que c'est seulement parce que. La raison de ça, c'est 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 parce que. Put the importance and the superiority of Mahlon 
over his, his, uh, his brother Kilian. Et ici, euh, en fait, Ben Israël dit que c'est pour montrer la supériorité et l'importance et la supériorité de Marlon à, euh, par rapport à son frère euh, Kilian. Chehaya mm -hmm. Tzadik, parce qu'il est Tzadik, because he is uh, Tzadik. Kemo Shameru Rabote Nuzal, Bezoar Kadash Rout, Daf Ain Chet Amud Aleph, Che Nikra Marlon. And he said, why we, we, why we say that Marlon is in, in, in more important and superior uh, over his brother Kilion, uh, Kilion, sorry, because it is written in the Zoa Padash Rut that Marlon, it's, uh, it's, he's called in his name. Why? Because he was, uh, he, The Marlon in Hebrew, it's Marlon. It, uh, it came from the, the word ne Marlo, she Nimchalo, sorry, and uh, Avanot, uh, Avonotal, Avonotal, sorry. He said, may his, um, his may be forgiven his, uh, his, uh, his sins, que, 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 ses, que ses fautes soit pardonné. Marlon, ça vient de Mechila. Marlon came from Mechila, which is forgiveness. And, and then, Archem, qui, qui, uh, Archem Kilion, who Mora, les, 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 Yifar, les, Yifar, les, Yifra, sorry. But the name Kilion, his brother, is referring to, nous, uh, teach us the contrary. Velachen Amar Veshem Velachen Amar Sorry Veshem Lashon Yachid. C'est pour ça. This is why we uh, the the text say Veshem and not Shemot in plural. Lashon, which is a, a, a long a unique language, a singular. Let's say the K al Marlon velo Ratsa le Mar le Hashiv. Les Kilion, les Kilion, Kulam. And he said that because, yes, we, we only, only talk about Marlon because he's a tzaddik and he is uh, all his uh, sin, sins may be uh, forgiven, may, may his sins be forgiven, like, thank you, Zohar. But it's not the case about his, his brother, Kilion. And then he, he, he continued the explanation. He said, Vehine, Shemot Hashlosha, Hanis Kerim, Asher Piret, Piret, the whole Ahad Mehem, to our Shem, Bifne Atmo, Hem, Amen. So here he said, So let's see now that the, the three names, so which, which names? We, we have four names, but because We, we hear the first explanation say that the name of uh, Kilon is not considered, so that we have only three names. Who, which are these names? Let me just write the, the, the board so that we understand what the Venetian will say. Say, say like this Eli Mele. Naomi. Let me let me Naomi, his wife, and Marlon. So what about those three names? Um, next. Their name form in their Orashite votes, the, 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 
the word amen. En fait, le, le, le début des noms de, de ces trois personnes, mais les trois personnes les plus importantes, donc sans le, le, le deuxième frère qui, qui, qui donne, forme le mot amen. Oh, because when we check this all this and we will arrange it, it's give them the, the word amen. Amen. And what is going to say then? Chez où? Rachet, Tevot, Elimeler, Marlon, Naomi. De va couler vous, couler vous, Kete, Katov, non, Ketev, Shem, Vehu, Mispar, Tzadi, Aleph, Keminian, Avaya, Ve Adanu. Oh. So here, what is this? He said that those names, the gematria, the total uh, numerical value of this, those names, is 91. Oh, because this is one, Aleph one, Mem is 40, and Nun is 50. So when we add everything, we have uh, 91, which is in Hebrew, Sadi. Aleph. And also, he quoted that what is also Sadi Aleph, which is uh, nine and, uh, nine, uh, 91, is the combination, the, the union, the Yichud of uh, Yud Kevavke, the name of Hashem, and Adanut, the other name. Because this one is 26, as we know, and this one is uh, 50, 60, oh, 63, uh, 65, sorry. She's also, she's also uh, 91, 91. And let's stay with this because we're gonna we're gonna try to connect it to the all the limud that we saw in uh, this uh, this week's Beis um, uh, uh-huh. uh Maybe I, I just, just start to explain now, and then we're gonna see the the, the suite. So here, donc ici en fait, 80, c'est aussi la gematria de l'union entre euh, Adon, euh, Yud Kevavke et Adanut. Donc on, a, on, on a vu et on le sait et, euh, plusieurs fois, on l'a vu plusieurs fois, mais c'est toujours bien de le répéter, c'est que le Yud Kevavke, c'est la, la lumière interne du, de, de, du, on va dire du Vav. En fait, ça, euh, quand on mélange, on fait la, la combinaison de l'addition de 26 et 65, c'est-à-dire Yud Kevavke et Adenai, on fait un Yihud, on les met ensemble. Et le résultat, c'est un Tzadik. Euh, on va dire, oui, tzaddik imakolel, with le kolel. So here we know that this one is connected to the, the letter vav of yud ke vav ke. And this one is connected to the he, the, the last he of yud ke vav ke. Why? Because the, when, we write, when we write yud ke vav ke like, like here, we know that those are vessels. The letters are vessels. But then, the light that are inside, in the lumière qui sont à l'intérieur des vaisselles, des, des kelim, des vaisselles, en fait, ce sont ces noms-là. En fait, le, le nom, le, la, the or, the, the light that is inside the vav, it's yud kevavke. The light that is inside the he, the last he of yud kevavke, you know, is adanut. And when we say that, when we pray, we need to be, to, to think about the yihu, uh, of connecting the vav and the he. Vav it's za and the e it's nukva. This is what we call when when we every time we see the the, the word zun is the combination of the it's the it's a yihud zun which is combination of let me see right here zun it's a it's a za ve nukva. Just, we just take all this, uh, the Rachete Vot, which gives Zoom. And when we read Zoom, it is a Yehud. It's a new union. 
of those those uh, shemot, uh, yeah, those names. And I can also show you on, on our um, when we do Amida, when we pray, as uh, and we, yeah, we connect it to the Limud of Rabbi Nathan. What is praying? It's basically we we need to connect every letter each time we bend. Quand on fait en fait l'amida et qu'on se prosterne, on doit penser, on doit se, on se, on se prosterne. Ah, j'ai une question. So, peut-être une question. Uh, combien de fois on se prosterne quand on fait l'amida Je sais que c'est facile, mais c'est justement pour retrouver ça. Ou c'est même, c'est pas facile, mais juste pose la question. So, quatre fois. Exactement, quatre fois. Et comment So, uh, I asked the question. How many times we uh, bend, let's say, when we do Amida? And uh, uh, Rabbanit uh, Anava, we respond four times. Yes, four times. Why? Because each time we bend, we need, we need to think about connecting the Yud. For the first time we bend, Yud, we need to connect to the Aleph. And when we finish it, we, we go straight up. Amida, the Yasha, as a... Uh, uh, Rabbi Latan said uh, before. And then the second time we bend, it's here. We connect, we, we have to think when we bend to connect the He with the Dalet, and etc. etc. And then we also bend, so it is the first time, second time, third time, and the fourth time, the last one. And for to show that, I will just take the, the Sidur, because there are Kabanot that are like that. Je ne sais pas. I don't know if you have a, a sidour with some kavanot. Je ne sais pas. Uh, vous utilisez quel sidour, par exemple, uh, Rabbi Tanava or, ou, ou Rabbi uh, Itzak? Coucou. What, what, uh, which sidour you use? Do you have uh, some kavanot or some uh, thing or just the, the, the text? Uh, moi, le sidour que j'ai, c'est marqué uh, la porte de la délivrance. Ah, I use this one. Let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pour de la délivrance et si do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have um, when you, can you open it and we go to the Amida? Mm -hmm. Any Amida? Amida? It can be Shahari, whatever. Yes, yeah. Amida. 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 Okay. Let, let me just check one minute. Uh, how we. It, oh. Yeah, can you show again, please? Okay, so I cannot see well, but do um, do you, for example, for example, the first time we bend, it's it's uh, when we say the first time we bend, when yeah. we say the first time we bend when we finish. Uh, When, when we, we first we do, we do the, the step for, uh, three steps back and three steps uh, yeah in front and then you say Hashem sepatai tifta ufi agit elatecha and then we did, we bend by saying Baruch ata Hashem elokenu melech haolam no not elokenu melech haolam elokenu velo velo ke avotenu etc. So here I, I'm going to show you maybe I, I'm going to take a picture yeah it's better. Because we use this uh, this this one here, so it's it's uh, for to start with the cabinet. It's already good, but let me just uh, here. So this one, when we say Baruch Ata Hashem, do you see here? He said that. Yichra gufo, so we we bend our 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 body. The yichvan, and we have the intention. She ot yud de yud kevavke meira meira le ot alef de adonai. He said that we what we now have to think when we bend first. We think that the yud, the first yud of yud kevavke, will light. The, the first Aleph, the, the letter Aleph of Adanut. And uh, we have here Yud and Aleph. 
See? So here, each time we, we bend, I don't know if I, I shared the, the, the screen. Ah, oh, yes, yes. The, each time we bend, for example, here we have the ale Yud Aleph, and we think about the Yud going down and bring light, let's say, or bring up the Aleph. But here we said that it's light, and, and every time I can show you here now, uh, maybe just through the, cam uh, the, the, the camera. And we finish. Uh, uh, sorry. Where is the second time? The second time is here. So let me just check if you, see, you can see. Here. The, last, the second time we bind with Baruch Atta Hashem, Magen Avraham. Magen Avraham, we see that here. We have the hey and dalet, the second letter, which is hey from the Yud Kevav Ke, and the second letter of Adul Adonai, dalet. So just maybe when we pray, we, we pray, sorry. Um, yeah, so when we pray, basically one, one Easy, not easy, but we first step when we do kabanat when we pray, maybe to think about this, the, those every time here, because it's a yihud, and when we pray, we connect it, the vav and the hey. And we, we saw, uh, thanks to uh, Yeshua of Abi, uh, Abi Al Natan also, that when we are here, we are in Amida, we are straight. And Amida, we are Yasha. Yasha, as he explained, it's Gematria 515 connecting to the Etranan, which, which is the, our parasha today. And this is how we can uh, go through the, the, the Olamot, let's say, uh, all the steps that we have to go to, to attain Atilut. Because also, as we know, and we, maybe we're going to go back in, in this, every step that we have in the, the Tfilah, for example, in Shaharit, we pass through the, the word of Asia, the word of Yetira, and when we attend, it's the uh, word of, uh, not Yetira, Atsilut, sorry, it's the Amida. Only the Amida uh, allows us to go till Atsilut. But to go there directly, we need to have steps. So we go from uh, Olam Asia, Olam Yetira, Olam Bria, and then on the Amida, Olam Atsilut. But we will gonna maybe, Bezad Hashem, see it in details uh, next time and let's just continue furthermore if, if there is any question don't hesitate let's continue and the Hashem also finish this paragraph so and he said here les Romains qui yichut shem avaya le shem adanut siyan bedavar haze. So he said that what what is this um, the the fact that Eli Meller and his family, especially the three of them, Eli Meller, his wife Naomi, and uh, this first son Marlon, when they went to to the uh, the field of Moab, it's like doing a connection, uh, a, a Yehud, like the name, what, like we do uh, in a Yehud of Yud Kevavke and at, uh, uh, at Anut. And this is the same thing he said. She be be alichet alichet shelosha lesade moav yikru ota afrida tova mi moav ve yikru Uta Misham. Well, and how, what is the, the result of this uh, Yehudi, this union? It's to, to, give, to give, to, to, to have, to, to uh, drop down the uh, big soul to, to, to do a, uh, sorry, <laughs> to do a separation first and to, to, to take the Neshamat of Ruth out of the, uh, the Klippa, which is called Moab. So, we learn here also, and we can also um, connect it to the, to the when we do the Amida, that when, when we do this connection correctly, quand on fait cette union correctement, 
on, on, on reçoit quelque chose en retour. C'est pas juste, on fait, euh, c'est pas c'est pas juste. Déjà, il faut arriver à, à faire les choses correctement, c'est-à-dire à, à, à prier et à, à, à connecter les choses correctement. Mais en fait, when we pray, we send something through Atilut, to into uh, to the Atilut, and then if we did it correctly, we will receive something in return because it is the your or Yashar, the light that is straight, and your Jose, the light is which go back. And here, in the case of uh, the in the case of Elimeler. Because the fact that they go to Moab, it's, it's uh, uh, the three of them, they are in the Yehud, they have the merit to bring back and to receive a big, big Neshama, which is called the Neshama, the soul of uh, Ruth. And this is maybe what we can learn from this, uh, this explanation of uh, Ben Ishray. But let's just finish the paragraph and with the attachment. And here, <clears throat> יקחו אותם ולא יוכלו המקטחיג לקטחג ולאחיו בזה. And hey, and what is Ben Isha said? Because it happened like this, so that the, the Moavit cannot uh, accuse it. Or cannot uh, stop the uh, leatric is accused to, to accuse uh, and, and, and not to stop the affair by this process. Why? Because we, we saw on the, the first explanation that Hashem, in order to, to bring down a big neshama and not to be uh, stopped, let's say, uh, stopped by the klipa, he put those neshamot inside the klipa so that. So that they can, uh, they cannot use when when the time is right and the the, the someone take those uh, nitzot those uh, lights from the, uh, from the the klipa, the klipa will not say. But why? Uh, they, they will not. They they cannot accuse like uh, it is unfair. No, because first we, Hashem gave it to you. But what did you do with it? Nothing. So let the one who have the tool to, to refine this neshama and to bring it uh, in his uh, high level, do it. So we, we learned it on the explanation, the first explanation, the explanation of the first pasuk. David, sorry, David Ameler, Shalom, Avo, the Gevurot, Adonai, Elohim, is Kir. Sorry. So here it's in, in Teilim, we can see that Ben uh, uh, quoted him, uh, the, the Teilim of David Ameler Alava Shalom. He said, Avo Begvurot Hashem Elohim, and come by in, uh, in a rigorous, uh, with rigor. Hashem Adonai Elohim. And we see here also that big vura come Adonai and Yudke Vavke. We saw that this is the Yehud. We need those two, two names of Hashem to be one. We, gonna, we need to, to com, combine them. And so is Kir. Uh, is kir um, so he said so so that I will remember his uh, his uh, let's say um, his right 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 righteousness and levadecha is own is only an unique uh, righteousness and here we say we see I, I put a note here because here uh, he will remember the tzaddi. Uh, we can you can read this word and take the roots, which is tzaddik, which is tzaddik. Levadecha, levadecha, it is one, echad. So we also see that yud kevavke and adanut in, in tzaddis pasuk. It's uh, it's also it, to remember the tzaddi aleph. Tzaddi aleph which gematria that as we saw for uh, ninety one, which is the the perfect combination of those two shem. So. Inside this uh, pasuk of the Teilim, we have everything that is happening when we pray and also what is happening when Elimelech and his family went to Moab.
כי מודה הוא משבח אני שמותיך הדושם אדנות על הצדקה שנעשית על ידם להפחיד אותנו ממואב So here he said, because I will be uh, uh, thanksful and I will praise that uh, he, uh, yeah, I will praise about those, those uh, names, which is Adan, Adanut and uh, Havaya, Al Hatzedaka, through the, the um, let's say, the, um, I used to say it, the Tzedaka. Um, act of kindness, let's say, act of kindness, she naasit al yadam, that uh, his, uh, this hand did in order to take out uh, and to bring it, uh, to take out the neshama of root mimoav. So here, let, let's stop here. And uh, basically the, what we can, we, what we can understand and the, uh, Uh, learn from today or uh, about this uh, explanation is to really think about when we are uh, in Amida, uh, every time we bend, at chaque fois que nous, ce qu'on peut retenir donc de, de, de ce, cette explication, c'est qu'à chaque fois que nous faisons du coup Amida, on va essayer de penser à cette Kavanala, de connecter à chaque fois le nom de Kavakri Adonai, et que chaque fois qu'on se baisse, every time we bend, we need to, to think The first time is to connect you with Aleph. The second time, la deuxième fois, to connect, to connect, c'est de connecter He with Dalet. The third time, Vav with Nun, and the fourth time, the He and Yud. And so when we do it correctly with, um, with the, all the Kavanot, so that we will receive something that is really, really uh, big because, uh, because of, we can learn it from the, the story of Ruth. Because the three names came to the, the field of Moab, they received a big neshama. And uh, 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 so, so, uh, so us, when we pray and we do it connected together, may we also uh, receive big, uh, big thing that had happened into our life and it help us to, to well serve uh, Hashem. Est-ce que vous avez des questions? Do we have other questions? If not, I will say Shabbat Shalom to everyone and uh, Bezat Hashem, see you uh, next week. Uh, on continuera, and we will continue. So, si n'a pas de questions, je vous laisse ici et je vous dis, je vous souhaite Shabbat Shalom et à la semaine prochaine. Baruch Adonai Leolam, Amen Vamen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom Shalom.